This is a copy of a drawing, an artist drew this, of a specimen known as Plopithecus. In the time life chart, they have a picture of Plopithecus. It looks like, very much like this. And you'll see other specimens that look like this. And, and let me just poke a little fun at this for a minute to try and get you to think about what's going on. What can you really tell about this individual based upon the evidence that is available? We're going to split screen for you a fossil with this specimen so you can make a comparison. Here you have some bones. What could you say from these bones? Well, there's some things you could say. You could measure these bones and you might get a guesstimate as to how big this specimen was. It might be that there would be some tests that you could make that would indicate something about the sex of the individual. But what could you not say that is in the Reconstruction? You'll notice that in the Reconstruction that he's drawn wearing a beautiful fur coat. What can you tell about how much fur this individual had based upon the bones that you see on this chart? What could you say about it? Did he have a lot of fur? No fur at all. Obviously, you can't tell, can you? What can you tell about the nature of the soft tissue? Did he have great, big, huge, floppy ears? Or did he have very small ears? Did he have huge, extended lips? Or did he have very small lips? How about his nose? Did he have a cute little button type of nose like you see here in Plyopithecus? Or did he have a nose that looks like this? Now, this is a specimen known as a proboscis monkey. This is a modern monkey. But the soft tissue is something you would never guess if you were looking at the bones of this animal. You're never going to see a petrified nose. And the point that needs to be understood here is that when you've got bones, you don't have any idea what the soft tissue looks like. And it's important to understand that sometimes when charts like this are shown, enormous artistic license is taken. Now here you have four specimens. I'd like for you to notice something in the second one from the right. And you'll see this in many charts, including the time life chart. Notice the detail in this specimen. I mean, he had a, a huge amount of promathicism. His mouth's way out in front of his face. Huge nose. That guy could smell a McDonald's hamburger three miles away. And notice the muscles. Man, alive. That guy, he'd have been great on World Wrestling Federation stuff. And monstrous leg development. But what I really want you to look at is look at his left leg. And notice the toe. He has what is called a brachiated toe. In other words, if you look at my hand here, you'll notice my hand has a thumb, which is at right angles, essentially, to the rest of my hand. So my hand is made so that I can grab a hold of things. This guy had a foot like that. He could grab a hold of a tree limb with his feet, and that left his hands free to fight with. Do you know how much evidence the time life people had for the specimen they do that, they, that looks like this? Do you know how many fossils the artist was actually looking at when he made that drawing? One single tooth. One tooth. Now, how are you going to tell something about a toe from a tooth? 